Hello, my name is Scott McDonald and I'm here to talk to you about vlogging for real estate sales. If you're not familiar with the term vlog, a vlog is a combination of two words, video and blog. I know most people know what a blog is, so a vlog is a video blog and vlogging is the act of filming a vlog. The video style of vlogging has just absolutely exploded on the internet in recent times and many people are jumping on this trend and creating their own vlogs. The real power in vlogging is that it allows you to develop a personal connection with the viewers. Vlogging is not about a highly polished impersonal video production. Rather, it is about being real and having a personal connection with people. It's actually very simple and anyone can do it. With a few video production tips and techniques, you can be producing your own vlog in a very short period of time. So, what does all this have to do with real estate sales? Well, I'm glad you asked because that's exactly why I'm producing this training. Personally, my family and I have been vlogging our family adventures for a number of years now, which is our connection to vlogging I have also been photographing real estate properties for BPOs. One day the idea came to me of using vlogging for showing real estate properties. Using this technique, I realized that it was a way of multiplying a real estate professional's time, making you more productive and having the potential of increasing sales and commissions. Think about it. You could now be showing properties and be personally connecting with people 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and 365 days a year. You could be showing properties to people while you're showing another property to someone else, while you're spending time with your family, eating dinner, or even when you're on vacation, enjoying your favorite recreational activity, or even sleeping. All right, so now I can take you through a little mock walkthrough of a home, which hopefully you will be able to get a good idea of what this might look like using vlogging to walk people through the home where they could watch that 24 hours a day, no matter what time of day it is. And you could be showing properties to people just all the time and allowing them to be able to connect with you and get to know you a little bit. So I'm gonna go through this. I am not a real estate professional, so I know you will be able to uh, have other ideas of what you would wanna say, what you would wanna show people through this, but hopefully I'm just gonna be able to allow you to see what vlogging can do to help you to be able to show more properties to people. In my family, I have some real estate agents um, I believe one was even a broker and I know one actually trains real estate agents, but unfortunately I don't have those uh, real estate sales skills, but hopefully through my video knowledge I can help you reach out to more clients and connect with more people. So let's start this, let's go through this and we will pretend that we are showing a prop property and hopefully you guys will cut me some slack here since I'm not a real estate professional and uh, well, let's see how I do here. All right, as we walk into the property, we walk right into the nice size living room that you and your spouse, your family, can enjoy together. Nice uh, size living room. And then as we move through here, we walk right into the adjoining dining room. Good size for a nice size table there. And as you can see, that moves right into the kitchen area, which as you can see right here, there is a divider between the kitchen and the living room. I think that's a really nice feature so that if you're in the uh, kitchen working, making dinner or whatever, you can see your guests and your family right 
out here and still be able to not only see them, but talk to them as well. Going into the kitchen, have lots of cupboard space above and below and the sink and dishwasher area over there. And then even on the other side, you have cabinets going across there, down below at your stove and your refrigerator. And then moving to the back of the kitchen, this is where your laundry room area is with your dryer and your washer here with even more cabinet space right back here, right above the washer and dryer. So you got lots of cabinet space. And then as you can see, back out there to the dining room area. All right, so let's go into the back of the house and see what's back there where the bedrooms are. So you got your hallway, coming down the hallway, you move right into the second bedroom, right here, nice, spacious uh, second bedroom. And one of the features that I really like are those dual windows in the corner. They really allow a lot of light to come into the room and when you open them up, it allows you to have a really good air circulation through not only the room, but through helps through the house too when you have the other windows open. And then you have a sliding door closet here that goes almost the length of the room, except for this one part here, which is your coat closet right at the beginning of the hallway. Nice coat closet for your coats, possibly vacuum or other things to store in here. Nice little shelf. All right, so that is our coat closet. Then, as you go down the hallway, we get to the huge bathroom in this apartment home with the combined full tub and shower there. You've got your toilet there, sink and vanity over here. And then as you turn here, you go right into the master bedroom. Nice size master bedroom here. And with your window over there and combination of mirror sliding doors, really opens the room up, really brings in a lot of light with the window shining on those uh, sliding doors there and then you have your vanity sink in the master bedroom so that's pretty nice you have uh, lots of space here as you can see you have the closet racks in there for uh, towels clothing or whatever you might be storing in there and just gives you lots of room here and then again, straight out, back out to the living room area. Out back, you can see you have a nice little patio out here. There, right now, there's a little table and chair, which is really nice to be able to go out there and just kind of hang out, have your coffee, uh, bring your laptop, or whatever you might be able to use out there, as well as you've got a little closet out there as well. And the community has lots of amenities right out there. There's one of the two pools. And there is also a jacuzzi out there at the clubhouse area. The community has schools close by, parks close by, businesses, restaurants close by, which really you have everything you need right here in this community. So whether you're a family, a couple, or a single, this could be a really nice apartment home for you. So I really thank you for hanging out with me and walking through this property with me. I'm gonna leave my information at the end of this video so you can go ahead and contact me if you have any questions or if you would like to personally walk through physically this property, I could do that with you. And I will just look forward to being able to talk to you again soon and see if this nice apartment home would be a really good fit for you. Thanks for hanging out and I'll talk to you soon. So, 
Let's take a look at some of the equipment that you would need to make this happen.